save mother. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. What up, bro? Yes, yes. What's up, bro? Hi. What's up, man? How are you, man? I'm good, man. You know, part in the service, I had to find, I had to find my, get my service right. <laughs> <laughs> <Word>. <laughs> I appreciate you coming on so much. It's crazy to me to have, like, you on here and, like, Method Man on. You know how crazy that is to me? Like, I'm not, like, these battle rappers that think, like, oh, uh, yeah, I'm top of the world. I'm just some guy from Canada. And the fact that you guys know me and, like, like my shit, that's crazy to me. And thank you for taking the time out just to come nah, on my come shit. On, you know? Come on, bro. I fuck with you, bro. Heavy. I, I pay attention to everything. <clears throat> I'm extremely hip to the culture. I pay attention to everything, bro. So, trust, man. I, I, I fuck with your shit. I've been watching your battles, bro. I've been watching you do your thing for a few years now, bro. Every, like, I paid, I'm I'm very in tune with what you guys do. That's all I can say. And I got the utmost respect for your, for your, for your pen game, man. That shit is, any, any dude that sit there and lie and say they could go in the ring or whatever like that, that shit is not easy. It's not like it used to be. <laughs> Yo, I, I, I see you say like that in the interview, bro. I, re I respected you I said, I, so much. You said it in an interview. You said, I'm not one of them guys who thinks like I can just hop in that ring without like practice and doing homework and stuff like that because it's not easy. And I yeah. respect you a lot. You're an yeah. MC, man. Like, I'm not going to lie, bro. Like, <clears throat> people who pay attention, it's not about just having a flow or about just doing certain things. Like, having a flow or saying shit a certain way. It's just, it's like, it's a science to the shit, and I pay attention to everybody who approaches it that way. It's like you can't go in a boxing ring and just expect, yo, I'm gonna hit this dude with this hook. No, you have to. It's a science. You gotta know like how to set up combinations to get to that big. You know what I mean? To to get to get to where you're trying to get to, and that's how I look at and approach hip hop, bro. Like I, it's not like some. It's certain things for everybody has their own like what they like. You know what I'm saying? But to me, growing up. I, I, I like I list like my I don't have a top five rappers list anymore. Like I listen to so much so much music from different coasts, different places. I never looked at an MC as I just because he does this this way or he flows like that. I gotta no. I look at the full package and everything, and it goes. Hold on one sec. <clears throat> Check for, good, the full, for the for the full package of things like <clears throat> how you how you deliver your rhymes. What's the message you're trying to get across? How you deliver your rhymes? What's the messages you're trying to get across? Like <clears throat> how did you set how did you set the lineup in the in the in the in the scheme of still keeping the ill flow and keep keeping people entertained? What are you actually saying? How are you breaking down your words? Like you guys do that and you and you're able to perform it. I don't mean to like ramble on, but these are things I pay attention to. Like this is the real science to me behind lyricism and hip hop. And for like, I have I gotta tip my hat to y'all, bro, because you like I, I've I've seen you demolish dudes. You know what I'm saying? And it's how you it's it's your it's your approach, bro. It's not like I don't know how to really describe it. I'm kind of high and shit, but you know what I mean. <laughs> 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 no, listen, I. To be honest, man, like, I'm probably most hyped to talk about this shit with you than uh, than anyone, because I know you're a real spitter writer. Not, and not, not that anyone else ha isn't, because they all are, but um, I know that on a technical level that you really take that serious, like, on a technical level. So these, these, it means a lot that, that you respect what I do and what we do, because I know, I know you're a spitter spitter. You know what I mean? If anyone can last in the ring, it's you. 100%. I'm sure you battled half of these guys anyways, just out in the street and shit like that. You know what I mean? Sparring with Lux and all them guys. I'm sure you've had plenty of yeah. ciphers and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, bro. I, bro, I've sparred with, like, they'll, they'll attest. That's why I said that. If you, if you I don't know if I, I didn't, I would never publicly, like, out nobody because it was, it was never on no, like, yo, we gonna battle, we gonna do this. And then it was always, it was, when we left, it was always respect. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cipher, whoever. I remember I, it was me and me and T Rex. I had to be about probably. I don't know how old I was, bro. I was definitely like probably 16, 17 years old. Me and T Rex battled for almost 12, 13 hours straight, bro. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm, I swear on everything I love. Just just out of not only did we have like the ammo for it, but it's just out of like what? Go. I, every time you got something, I got something. And vice versa. So that like I left we we left with each other's respect more than anything because both sides of both both our sides, the guys on both sides that we had, my crew, his crew, they started going home, getting ready for the next day. Like <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we got we got we gotta go there, you guys got it or whatever. So <clears throat> it was like that, bro. So I have like those are the most dangerous. Yeah. Me and Lux, bro. <clears throat> so much history. Shout out to Loaded Lux. That's my brother, man. Mook. Oh man. Yep. Mook. Yep. Yo, do you got you got any favorites? Like, you know. I don't know, but right now or all time or whatever. I know that's a cliche question, but like, is there anyone that you're watching a lot right now? In particular, I can't lie. I'm not. I'm watching. I'm not. And, and I'm not being biased. I'm not being. This is not a political answer. I, no. I watch all of y'all, bro. I'm gonna be real, right. man. Like when it's some, it's so many. Like and, and and a lot of, a lot of dudes are gonna see me and be mad. Like, bro, you didn't even say me. You ain't say what's up. Like, what's up? Oh, Clips, DNA. Sean, bro, Tay Rock, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of dudes. Like I'm, I, I can't even like, like really fucking sit here and pinpoint because I watch all of y'all, bro. I pay attention right. to the culture and I, and I and I and I'm in tune with everything. Not only is it just it's it's entertaining, but at the same time, it's just dope as fuck that the that like how the level that is being taken to. So that more than anything, I'm just like, yo, that shit is dope. I'm battling Sean next. Word? Yeah. Oh, shit. Did, did you see me smoke Tay Rock? <laughs> I didn't see that. I didn't I, know that. Shout out Tay Rock. Shout out Tay Rock. That's I my guy. That. I, I did beat him. I it was my debut on before. URL. It was my debut. My debut, I went, I, I went, I battled Tay Rock in my debut, and then I came back and I smoked Shotgun Sugar after that. I didn't know, who did you, yo, you fucking caught, I was just watching one of your shits, and I don't know if it was in London, am I wrong? I, I battled Tay Rock in London. Am I high, bro, is that... <laughs> <laughs> I battled Tay Rock in London. I don't know if that's it, but it gotta be. It, it was. In the, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Remember that? Yo, let's let let's man. You know what I was doing last night? I was chucking random names out there. Who 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 do we think? Hey, Rock. Who do you Is think? That Rock, bro. Don't try to change the subject now, because I'm trying to write about. <laughs> it was me versus Rock. It was Summer Madness. <laughs> That's what it was. That was rock. I imagine. I didn't know. I'm high, man. Like, oh, shit. But you know I'm in tune because I've seen it. You know yeah. I'm in tune because I've seen it. <laughs> oh, yeah. shit, bro. Yeah. And then, I, and then I came and smoked Shug, and that was my second battle on URL. But I battled in New York before. I came to uh, New York, and I battled um, uh, A-Verb on RBE. I smoked him in a three. That was a judge battle. <laughs> then I came. <laughs> <laughs> like I smoked. I I like shouts to him. I actually smoked Bro. him. I, 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 I three owed him. You break breaking up. Can you hear me? All right. Shit. Shout out to Sprint for this fucking horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm going to chuck some names out there, man. I, I, I like to be random like this. 
Who's going to win in a battle? Oh, shit. Break first, break first Eminem. I wouldn't com I wouldn't compete. They wouldn't that's I don't I, I wouldn't that's not a match. Okay. DMX versus corrupt. Versus Oh shit. Corrupt is like Corrupt is like my Man, bro, you putting me in the Ah X's. I might go with X. You know? I might go X on that. I might go with X on the battle. In the battle, I might go with X. Corrupt is one of my favorite rappers of all time. Hands Me down. Me too. Hands Me too. down, one of my, my, my favorite corrupt records. Ran stone back of the bank, busting loose like bugs. Calhoun, corrupt typhoon with a perform with a platoon in the back with ass buffoons, ready to shoot anything that moves, so the moves blue lagoon mask on. Khaki's house going, house shoes on. I'ma start it off skitzing on the first nigga song. Here for stacks. You heard me? Hear me? Heard that? Words go past the front door. Before you gotta show them your heart and soul. When Desert Eagle foes explode from out the soul, the mother niggas told you knew better. Mask in an all blue sweater. Two pumps ready for a riot. Few Beretta, six hostages with a loss of oxygen. Ready to flip where there's a river. Sixteen bricks to flip. After I flip these bitch niggas for they shit, I've been down with the twist since 86. Hyperactive with an automatic snap of reaction. I'm sick of waiting. I'm 38 in jacket for Dayton's. We kick the door in for sure. 30 floor scramming. I forgot that, Jay, but that's that's my shit, bro. I listen to oh, that. Okay. Oh, so you are a corrupt fan. You're a corrupt yeah, fan. Definitely, bro. What? He's a beast. That's what I'm saying. Like this, these are dudes. My my dad had me listening to everyone. It don't matter where you where you from. If you got fire, bro. Well, I was listening to you <laughs> from my child. Yeah, man. I'm a huge, huge corrupt fan, man. Um, Black Thought versus Iggy Azalea. Come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Black Thought versus Crooked Eye. Ooh, Crooked is my Crooked is my guy, man. Too. I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to go with thought. I don't think Crooked will respect me if I didn't go with thought. That's fair, man. That's a pie. See, I didn't want to. You know, I didn't want to bring you on here because I got I got the feeling. First of all, I don't do like interview type interviews, like cliche questions, because I it's like, oh, so what's this and what's that and what happened here, what happened there. I'd rather just kick it with you because I respect you so much that first of all, it's. I, I, I'm not into clickbait and shit like that. I'm into just kicking it with you and talking regular conversation, and that's what I'm yeah. into, man. You know what I mean? I, I appreciate you too much to waste your time with all the questions that everyone else asks you. you know I mean? Nah, I appreciate it, bro. That's love, man. It's, and I'm chilling, too, shit. I'll usually be on some, like, uh, but I'm chilling, bro. We, this is Good. cool. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, fuck it. Let, let's mix it up. Who's your favorite all-time character? Who's my favorite what? The sprint. All-time character. All-time character in Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat? Oh, you didn't play that game? It's my favorite shit. Um <laughs> <laughs> That is GTA. Fucking Scorpion or, or Sub Zero. Get over here. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. Get down. Come here. <laughs> Get no. down here. Yeah, oh fuck. Boom. Yo. Yeah, would you fight name. a guy that looked, would you fight a guy that looked like Goro? Hell no. Would you date a girl that looked like Goro? <laughs> Hey, she give you a serious massage though. You get all the kinks up with them four arms. <laughs> That'll be real, Goro. Mm. That's a fucking deal, bro. Yo, I'll get off the funny shit. I was talking about um just a second ago. I don't want to get into typical interview questions because I because I just don't want to. And 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 just there's such annoying ones like, 
you know, Corey, like, how come you haven't fucking blown up yet? It's like, bitch, how come you haven't? Why don't you shut the fuck up? Like, it's, it's yeah. such a fucking annoying question. I think that you have such, like, a crazy high <laughs> expectation because you rap at such a high level for so fucking long. You've been doing it for so long that people expect so fucking much. And I also think that, man, people don't, people don't understand what it actually takes. Like, you know, like, rappers, we get praised. I always say this. Rappers get praised more than doctors and lawyers. So we get 100 DMs a day. Oh, big fan, love your shit. We see people in the street. I'm so proud of you. You're doing so well. You get 100 calls for opportunities. Oh, my God. This is going to be the one. This is the one. This is the one. And then they end up not falling through. People don't understand, like, what it what it actually takes to, to, to blow the fuck up. You know what I mean? It's, it's crazy, man. Uh, that's a true fact, man. It's a true story. And, like, I be, yo, exactly what you said, bro. Pretty much that. A lot of ex um, expectations and shit like that. And also, on my behalf, that I can say, is I've, like, the way I grew, I've, I've grown up, <clears throat> I'm not really, like, somebody told me, like, yo, bro, you pick probably, you have, like, a, it's like a gift and a curse factor. Like, I love to rap, but I don't love to be in the, you know what I'm saying? I like living a certain way. So it's like I'm having to adjust and adapt to that more because that's the way the game is now. That's the way things are. Like, you got to be out there all the time. You got to, there's certain things that I have to apply myself to that's going to take things to the level that it, that, that it should be going and that's one of the factors, as well as fucking, like you said, bro, it takes a lot that people don't know, that, that outside of, like, not politics so much, but it's a lot in the game. Politics, basically. <laughs> it's a lot. Yeah. Man. Shit is, you gotta do shit and move accordingly. And that's just what I've been doing. I got a lot of shit coming, though, but par I'm partially to blame for a lot of that shit. I'm not gonna lie. I pick, like... I picked a, I, I, I picked a, a industry, not an industry, but I have a, I was blessed with a gift that I need to be out more in the forefront, like a period. And I'm, I'm a very private person, bro. Like I'm an introvert. I'll stay home yeah. and just do my art. And that's what I like. All my friends and family knows this. I'll stay home and just do what I got to do, do my art. I'm not really concerned with anything else, but that like in family. So that's really it. I definitely, you, you're, you're, that shit was crazy though, bro. You're a hundred percent correct, man. Real shit. Yeah, man. <laughs> I can only imagine, like, you know, like, well, well, Corey, man, you got songs with Lil Wayne. You're signed to this for love. Like, what the fuck? Be like, man, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, it's, it's, it's so, and like, there's so many letdowns. I can only, I can only imagine to your level, dude. But like, like. The, call, the calls I would get would be like the biggest opportunities. And then you tell your girl, you tell somebody, oh, man, it's on, it's on. And you bank on that shit. It's like, oh, what's going on? And everyone just assumes. And the next thing you know, oh, that doesn't work. And boom, crash. And you're back to square one, just doing whatever. And um, it, it, it's, a, it's a real, like, life lesson of, of what's, you know what I mean? Like, what's for real? And as far as, like, the introvert shit, I knew that about you. And that's why I respect you so much for coming on here with me. Because you don't really like to be in the forefront. But there is a lane for people like that. Like, I don't see Kendrick that much. Yeah, like, you know, in, in, in the majority of the time, like, it's it, it's just more of, like, pressures and stuff of what other people say. Like, that's what I have to get through. As long as I go and I feel in my heart, like, I go and, and I perform at the same level or if not exceed every time I have to do what I have to do, then it doesn't matter. I don't be tripping. As long as I... When it's time when the mic is on or when it's time for me to do what I got to do, as long as I outdo myself every time or, or do the best I can every time, then I'm, I'm content with that shit. And, and that's hard to do, bro. I was actually thinking that today when I was watching you. I was like, man, you put your – you set the bar so fucking high. Like, I watch this shit. I'm like, how could that even be – how do you outdo that? And then the fans will be like – you know, because if you don't do something so that crazy again, they're going to be like, ah, oh, that was all right. When really it's still amazing elite, but you just you just rap at such a high level that the fact that you, your goal is to outdo yourself every time, 
that that's amazing, bro. That's that, that's that's amazing, bro. I appreciate that's hard it. To that's my bro. I I'm I'm it, when, that's what I mean. Like when it comes to the like putting words together and shit, bro. Like I really take that shit to the to the heart. Like I don't. I gotta like really sit and I have to. My goal every day is to learn some shit, something, some word, some kind of new way, a, a new way to say it, to break it down, something. I have to like see, read, see something every day and be able to put that shit in a bar. <laughs> oh, bro, it shows. It shows. It shows. I don't know how. Like you, you hear sound and you incorporate that with a rhyme, and that's amazing in itself. That just shows how much you fuck with. You know, a sound effect. You know what I mean? Like a boom off the wall, and you'll rhyme what that would sound like. And we're like, how did you do that? Like, that's amazing. That's amazing, bro. Thank you, bro. Yo, question. Yes, sir. Since, since, like, a lot of people know you for that, like, like just, just, just the whole wordplay shit, just, like, on an extreme level, do you find that maybe when you make, a, a like, a song that's, like, serious from the heart, passionate, that's not based on, like, wordplay, but you're just trying to get a point across, do you think that that kind of gets overlooked because you kind of – Branded yourself as this, you know, that kind of rapper? Sometimes it does. Yeah. That's the worst, man. Like, and I haven't, bro, I haven't put out a, any any music, like myself, I haven't put out a, a mixtape since, like, 2014 or some shit. I haven't put any music out and shit because, like, I have so, I, I have so much shit. I have so much music, bro, like, and so much ways to put it out like like a lot of personal stuff like a lot of a lot of music bro different shit and it's like i get boxed in and it's also what kind of like it sometimes withdraws me from wanting to do to do freestyle sometimes on, on different on different platforms because i get boxed into just being that like it's just like oh he's 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 one of the best freestylers or he could do this this that no i could actually fucking record bro like i like <laughs> Like I have music, like like not just fucking. I have I have songs I've put together for. Like I have songs, bro. Like that's that's the shit, and it kind of withdraws me from wanting to sometimes release that music because I don't know if it's even gonna if it's even gonna get listened to without being typecast, basically. And yeah. that's like blood, sweat, and tears that I put in the studio and shit. That's my work that I put in, and I'd rather it be guaranteed to be heard before it's just shunned away or anything like that. I know once it's heard, it doesn't matter, like, whether you're either going to like it or not. But I'd rather you give it the benefit of the doubt rather than to just throw my shit out. Like. I'm glad yeah. you spoke on that. I relate. <laughs> I relate. Like, 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 you know, just, or all battle rappers do, because just say, I make a song, it means the world to me. I put my heart out there. I'm so vulnerable. I put it all out there, man. Make myself a target with it. Like, like this, the realest shit. And the first 10 comments, when's your next battle? Cool. When's your next battle? Nah, we don't want to hear this, man. When's your next battle? Because they put you in a box when they know man. you or something. Whack. Yo, I, to 100%, bro. Word. 100%. You ever, um... I wonder, I, want, I always, this is a random question. And this might just be me. And I hope that I don't feel stupid to this question. Have you ever like shed a tear from music, not because it was sad, but because it was so good. And you're listening to it like it's just, a, like not shed a tear, but your eyes water up. I'm just, just the joy of this amazing song. I get, you have? Good, man. So do I, bro. Like when it's that shit and it brings you back to something, it's like, man, this is incredible. Incredible. That's, that's why I respect your shit, bro, because you just described that's passion. You just described exactly the reason that I fucking pay attention to. Like you that you're one of the people that I pay fucking attention to, bro. You're a lyricist. Like music is felt. That shit is not just to be heard and to just be, oh, this is it. you you have things for that. You have things you put on just to hear sounds, but music songs are felt. Shit is felt when it comes from a certain place. You know, you 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 you're either gonna feel that shit or you're just gonna, and that's what I mean. Like, and you wanna you don't wanna release the the music that you're describing. You don't wanna put shit out like that that's not even gonna get paid attention to. You're right. Without, without people just looking at it as oh he's just gonna 
he's just a freestyle. He's just this. No, 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 no. You gotta listen to this shit. Like, this is this is like that's and that's what I mean. The the feeling you just described, bro, is exactly what. And I know where you're coming from, a hundred percent. And we, and 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 it's kind of like this. It's it's not discouraging, but it's like shit, man. Like. I don't want to just put this, I have bigger plans for this. Maybe it could, you know, and it'll like hinder shit or whatever the case is, but I know that feeling, bro. Yeah. No, I, um, and sometimes when you hold on, you, you never, you never know if you can take out or not. I know what you mean. Like if you back a real personal song and everyone's like, ah, we want to hear a out. You're like, damn, do you know what I put into that song, right? Yeah. Shit. Blood, sweat, and tears. Yeah, and I'm gonna, I'm going to, I'm about to put some shit out soon though. Everything's gonna come out. I have two, I have so much music, bro. That when I do, when when it when it does get released and shit, and the way it gets released, people to pause, people are gonna be like, oh shit, okay. This is what he was doing. Fucking twelve, thirteen mixtapes. <laughs> twelve, thirteen projects. Twelve, thirteen. Four EPs, this, this, that, like shit is just gonna simultaneously just keep flowing. Good. D does um, it's I don't like like I said I try to steer away from questions that are like whatever, but um, uh, you, you still you still chat with Wayne and whatnot, man. He's he's, he's good. Yeah, that's good. That's fair, man. He's um, <clears throat> he's good. We we working good. on some shit. We working on some shit. So it's still Young Money. We're working on a lot of shit, so <clears throat> that's the plans right now. We just putting shit together. You know how you know you know the whole the whole bullshit situation that everybody was caught up in or whatever. Things got sorted out, so now it's a it's a different approach. Things are being handled differently, and we're gonna see what's what's, what's going on. No, can you tell me the story of like meeting Lil Wayne? Like, did like how how did you rap in front of him like the first time or, nah, or whatever? Bro. I didn't. Think <laughs> No, no. This is the craziest shit, and this is why a lot of people don't know. This is why I fuck with Wayne so much, bro. <laughs> I was on Def Jam. I had to be, I was 17, 18 years old. I was on Def Jam. <clears throat> Wayne flew to New York to do promo for Carter 2. I was at Sony Studios. <clears throat> it's not there anymore. It was on like 57th and 10th in the city in Manhattan. <clears throat> All of that stuff was in the same area. Like the um he had to go to BET. He had to go to he did 106 in part. He did TRL. Like he was doing like a lot of pro press and promo and shit for his album. <clears throat> Bro, he stopped in the middle of his press run. He came to the studio and did a verse for me for free. Wow. Pulled up, like and <clears throat> he had, um, it was just, it was different. Like, we knew a lot of mutual people. We always did. So people would tell me, like, yo, bro, the boy want to holler at you or whatever. And I'd be like, nah, I didn't hear that. You know what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> whatever. He came through that day. Guru, shout out to young Guru. <clears throat> Guru was there. And I told, I told Guru he was pulling up. And he looked at me. He was like, what? He was like, do you know, do you know how major this is for you? Like, that. You, you, you was like, did you know how major it is that you got him to pull up and do a verse for you for free in the middle of his, his promo run and shit like that? Like, that nigga got love for you. So I was like, yeah, no, absolutely. Shout out to my bro, <clears throat> Busy. My bro, Busy, Fat Boy. He actually was, was one of the people who linked it and set it up. And, and he came through. He came to the studio, bro. Sony. He pulled up, heard the track, and we knocked it out quick and then he went and did his promo he pulled out he, he actually while while we were writing the song i wrote my verse we both had 32s we both this is what i that's one thing i always do in the studio and anybody will say this if they don't it's a lie i write what that like unlimited just in case i'll do like i'll do a 32 or whatever just that just in case it's like all right like six foot seven i wrote a 32 but of course, it would have been like a five or six minute song. So it was cut when exactly when the like, all right, that's it, cut it up to 16. That's the big, at the end, at, that's my second verse. 
that word to my mama, I'm on a mom. So yeah, but back to we we both wrote verses that that day or whatever. And he asked me, he's like, bro, let me hear that. I rhymed my verse to him or whatever. He was like, yo, that's a 32, my nigga. Like, I'm like, yeah. He was like, I'm not gonna lie. I pulled up. He was like, I I, I pulled up hoping to bring you on a team from here. But I don't I, I'm I don't step on the big homie toes, man. You a hold like holla at me, man, or whatever. Peace then left. Did it on the strength. It was respect. So ever since then, we kept a good like a good rapport or whatever. And in the midst of things going the way they did, when Jay when Jay left Def Jam, I didn't want to be there anymore because I didn't know what was, you know, what was going on. So he granted us a release. And then my pop, my pops took a meeting with him. And when we caught wind that he was leaving, and the reason we were over there, you know what I'm saying? The reason that we, we wanted to go there was for was was to be under them. So he granted a release, which is unheard of. And I've always had the utmost respect for Jay for that. Like no strings attached, no nothing, bro. Like good. I like I respect that or whatever. Like let us rock. But ever since then, since Wayne first came to the studio, bro, it's been a hundred percent like connect. So years later down the line, when he finds out <clears throat> I'm not on a deal anymore, he reached out to 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 my people, my guys after platinum. It was it was um my guys I was working with, dope company, family. I was working with them at the time and Wayne and Wayne and Mac had reached out. Shout out to the big bro Mac Main and we made the business right. Did what we had to do and that was it. But ever since bro like <clears throat> Day one, when I first, before I even, I met him in the studio, man. And, and and it was him pulling up to do the verse. So that alone spoke volumes. Oh, no big deal. Just, you know, sign to Jay-Z, Lil Wayne, come through, spit a verse with me, move over to Lil Wayne. Oh, you know, <laughs> that's amazing. What a, That's a fucking amazing story, man. I never, oh, you know. <laughs> never told anyone that before either. That's amazing. Yeah, you know, listen, Lil Wayne, I got... Dr. Dre keeps blowing up my phone. I'll call you back in a minute. You know? <laughs> That's amazing. Yo, was his verse dope as fuck or what? What? That th it ended up being a record. Is this record we did called I Gotcha. Okay. But it had to get like altered and get fixed certain ways. Just just Blaze did the beat to it. At first it was a it was a beat DJ. We wrote we originally wrote it to a beat DJ Khalil had did. Shout out to DJ Good. Khalil. And then it and then it had um just just Blaze had ended up I guess they they went a different approach with the with the um acapellas and stuff because I think the beat got sold so just ended up doing it over or something happened but they wanted to flip it. Yo, what was his aura like? I always want to know, like you know, like when you meet a star like that, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> can you feel it when he walks in the room? Like, okay, this guy's a star. Yo, bro, to be honest. He was, he, and it's still like he is now. He's mad cool. Wayne pays attention to shit. Like even when you think he doesn't. So I will be. I'm. I'm in the corner. Even, even to this day, when we're in the studio, when I'm writing, I'm in the corner. He'll be off to the side. Like you know what I'm saying. Like just observing, just 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 seeing like the, what the energy is, what the whatever it is. Like he pays attention to shit like that. So and his verse will be damn near done already because he doesn't write. So he, right. he's, just, he's already doing his shit. You thinking he's just walking around. He got his blunt lit. He's zoning out, but he's already writing. So he'll yeah. pull up, see where you at, right, where you at with it or whatever like that. Look, check it out and shit like that. But he's very observant and he's chill. He's cool, humble. He's one of the coolest people I've ever met in my life, bro, to be honest with you, bro. It's my brother. Dope, <laughs> or, real shit. That's the I don't write bro. either. Right? Fuck. <laughs> I don't, I don't write either. It's been a long time. For my battles, it's all in my head. You serious? Serious. My whole battles, all my battles, all in my head. Yo, know, sometimes, bro, sometimes I'll um just say, like, if I'm, like, super zoned out or something, or if I'm high or whatever, I'll, I'll record something in my phone. Like, if it's a certain, like, cadence that I, I can't read, you know what I mean? But other than that, I practice it. I just write it in my head. I'm, That's I'm incredible. Gonna, that's a y'all y'all look different with that shit. That shit takes a lot of memory. I don't have that many gigs. I smoke a lot. Of <laughs> <laughs> you know what it was? So it started a long time from recording, 
And I realized that me personally, I couldn't translate the, feel, the feeling from the paper I was holding into the mic. Like I felt like when I was doing it, I was, I, you could, I couldn't, I guess, act it out, you know, from reading it on a paper, you know, as opposed to knowing it off by heart and really like getting into it. Cause I, I, I feel like I can tell that I was reading off a of paper. So I practiced that, but. <laughs> that's what yo bro to be honest and that's another thing too like it's it's a from what you were saying earlier it's a feeling music is from the soul so you get it you 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 have you come across better or whatever when you when you feel and know what you're saying like sometimes I, I have to write like i remember yeah. i'm just i'm happy and i'm happy that i was blessed with the gift to remember shit how i see how i write like write it like I remember to say it the way I the way I wrote it. Like when I felt that way, I remember the feeling. Like I can't describe that shit, bro. But it's like right, this, is right, how, right. this is how I said that. This is the way I meant to. And I could yeah, I don't know yeah. if it's the way I write it or what, but I could remember that. And that shit is like that shit is difficult as shit for you to just sit there and just not write anything, especially in the that is a com that's straight competition. You have to yeah, memorize yeah. all that shit, bro. Yeah. Thanks, man. That's crazy. yo, yo, random. How the fuck did it feel after you dropped the the fucking car freestyle? How the fuck? Like, what was the what 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 was the neighborhood saying? You know what I mean? Like, yo, what, bro, that shit that blew the fuck up. That shit was ill. Oh, oh 15, bro. Let me tell you what happened though. <laughs> Oh my if kids, god. If there's any kids listening to this shit, please like don't do this. But bro, I was I was leaving school, bro. I was this is what happened. I forgot the exact day it was. Shout out to Lord Tariq. My that's my uncle. Bro, I'm leaving school. I was in James Monroe High School. I'm leaving school. It's 12 o'clock in the afternoon by 11 to 12 noon. I'm walking out of out of school, bro. Like, just like it's normal, regular, out of the front door. Dudes pull up. My uncle pulls up. Like, yo, what are you doing? He looks at his watch. He's like, what are you doing? I'm like, what you mean? Like, he's like, bro, it's not three o'clock, two or three o'clock yet. What are you doing leaving school? I said, no, I was hungry. He's like, man, come on. Picks me up. He was on his way to school to get me that day anyway to bring me to 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 the studio. I didn't know. I was just cutting class and shit we go to the studio that day it just so happens to be shout out to smack smack is there my uncle e beasley shout out to eric beasley that's family yeah um we were in the, we were in um my bro germ of course we were we were in the studio for a minute just playing beats going through beats and and it was actually Tariq's idea to like, yo, you gotta hit him, you gotta hit him rap or whatever, get them on the camera. Smack heard it. Like he he was he heard me rap or whatever before that and was like, oh hell yeah, you know Smack. Yeah, yeah, son. <laughs> <laughs> that's, my, that's my that's my family, Smack, man. Set it up, we get in the car or whatever. My bro, my bro Jim is there. We throw in the we throw in the um the instrumentals. I used to walk around, bro with books of CDs of instrumentals. Like they would be, the CDs would all be scratched up because I'm holding them straight. Like every <laughs> instrumental CD you could you could name, the J Arms joints, the, the, the DJ Boom shits, all of them. I used to have all of them shits. The best of every instrumental you could think of, I had them all in like a, like, like a roll in my book bag. I threw a beat on or whatever. <laughs> it was the Get em Girls joint. And we just, it was one take. We did that shit, and like, like soon as it, soon as it came out, like that shit, that's that's what started, that's what kick started a lot of shit, and it was a random day, like it was just, it just happened, and after that shit dropped, bro, I was taking meetings and pulls, I like, bet, I bet, oh my god, I bet, holy fuck, that was the hardest shit I ever in my life, like, period. I'm like, who the fuck is this? When I watch that shit, I, 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 not to cut off because I want to hear the rest of it, I was rapping at that point, and I, I watched that, I was discouraged. I was like, oh, well, I, best, I guess I can always be a sound engineer. Um. 
<laughs> no, but yo, you just recorded that one take with your homie in the front seat. Yeah, we did that shit one take, bro, because we, and that's what I, that's how I, like, that's just how I am, bro. Like, I got to keep some shit. And, and and that's the way that I was raised up. I'm not gonna lie. Like my pop my, my pops raised made me the way that I am. Like I put like a lot of pressure on myself because of that shit. Like I'm like, you know, I could do better than this. I could do better than, and I and, and for some reason, like I, I try, I'm not saying I do, but I try to like fucking you know, I could do this. I could I could you know this sounds better this way. Like I I'm so fucking it's 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 a science to me. Like I have to really sit there and I take my time with shit and I dissect everything and put it together the right way, the way that I see it is. I'm not gonna do anything if I start writing some shit and it doesn't come out exactly the way that I hear it and see it when I'm putting it together in here. It won't. It, nobody else ever will ever hear it. This 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 is a question that I think maybe only rappers will be interested in, but I am interested in as a rapper. Like when you're recording, you know they say. First, like three takes, uh, one to five takes is, is usually going to be your best. Because psychologically, like after that, just say you're going to like seven or eight, you start losing faith, and then like yeah. by ten, you're like, I, I ain't got it today. Is that how, like is that how you were recorded? You always one take, or is it, if you start doing like ten, are you like no, I'm done for the day? Let me catch back up. It depends. It's been times where I'm like, yo, I got to do this shit. I got to get this shit the way and the right. Like you said earlier, it should have to be the right cadence. It has to be emphasis on what I say. Like, if it's not exactly the way that I hear it, then I'm going to just either come back to it or I'm going to re-record it another day. I'll I'll record it. And some, in most cases, I'll record some shit and hear it and be like, oh, no, I got to do this over. I'm going to say this that way. I'm going to do that. That's what I do a lot, too. Do you find, like... Dude, I bet I bet you right now, Corey, you've got fucking a hundred songs in the archives that you that 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 you're like, yeah, not nah, whatever, whatever. But if the right person heard it, they're like, this is it, you know, because one man's trash and the other man's treasure. Not trash, but like, we're our har- yes. we're our harshest, yeah, we're our harshest critics, yeah, bro. I, bro, um... last night, bro, last night I was on fucking here with Method Man, and you know what he told me blew my mind. I said, yo, why was the Rockwater, why was that song, the Rockwater, so short? He goes, because Meth, uh, Red Man didn't like it. He thought he, he, he wasn't into it, didn't like it, so we cut it short. I'm like, what? That's crazy, eh? Whoa. That, that shit is, that, that shit is one the, of the, that shit is incredible. Red Man, that's is, the Red, and, Red and Meth is my favorite, oh my God. Those are two of my favorite. Method Man's verse on My Mind Made Up is the first verse I ever memorized on my own. Bro, man. I got my mind made up. Man. That's my no, first you know. verse I ever memorized on my own. <laughs> yeah. How's it start? Fuck you losers. While you fake jacks, we make maneuvers. That shit, he went crazy, bro, but... Yo... You know, you know, Daz started that off, and believe Daz, when you know, was, he had the first verse on that, right? I, I got my mind made up with Tupac and shit. Right? Yep, yep. Now Daz, Daz got the coldest flow. I don't know how he does it, man. But he just like he just glides on the. Oh man! Like next time you hear that, listen to how he does it. It's like to make it possible to, to drop a dude with it. But I'm like, how the yo, fuck is yo. he? Doing? Daz is yo. He's un, not. He'll never be to me. He's not underrated. He gets the, but he's so, bro, Daz is, he needs to, like, people need to, I don't know, man. People get me pissed off when he's not mentioned. Like, he's one of those dudes that, like, when he's not mentioned in certain conversations, I get mad. Like, Daz is, um, the Dog Pound album, bro, I was listening to that when it came out. I was only about, what, <laughs> about eight or some shit? Like, I was a, I was sneaking listening to that shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I'm Dog Pound is like my favorite group. And I well, okay, I have a few favorite groups. My favorite groups, Dog Pound, Method Man and Red Man, East Siders, oh. South Central Cartel, which is mad. Um but yeah, man, that's interrupt. Like 
Come on, man. See, I, I, I put I put rappers on a pedestal when they do something that I could I I feel I could never do. Like when it comes to a write, uh, you know, writing, I I can write really well, but that flow that Daz does, you can't teach someone that. That can't be taught. You can't you can't have that ghost written by someone. You know, so no one can write that for you when you do it because you can't, no one has that natural me- rhythm in them to. Yeah. to it's like it's crazy, man. It's crazy. The tone, everything. Like he's just chilling. Like find an MC like me who's from did a motherfucker school. No verb for cool. He killed that shit. He killed oh, that shit. and he comes off. Oh, yeah, the tone. That's what I'm saying. The tone. <laughs> how he comes. I didn't even know who it was when he came on. I'm like, who is this? And he's like, <laughs> and then he, and he, 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 yeah, he was. That's what I'm I think that's why he's such a good, like, his flow is so on point because he's so rhythmly inclined. He makes these beats, right? His beats are fire, too. Classic, bro. Like, oh, people don't even know, bro. That's the problem. I'm glad, like, but nobody's challenged him yet. He'll play, like, no. two or three beats, and that'll be it. That's <laughs> true, man. <laughs> He'll play I love- two or three beats. And dudes would be like, he did that, and that'd be it. Him, yeah. DJ Quick, one of my favorite producers of all time. Who, who are your favorite producers of all time? Bro, bro, one thing that a lot of people know about me, my favorite all around, well, my favorite producer of all time is DJ Quick. My favorite all around, wow, like, that's dope. Yeah, what? Yeah, of, of all time, DJ Quick, man, of all time. Okay, you know what I mean? Man. Like, that's why I was bumping. Like, I bumped DJ Quick all day. Like, I think he's, he, I think he's, he's Dr. Dre to me. He's incredible. I was raised on his music. Balancing options, everything. <laughs> I was raised on that, bro. That's and, dope. Um, uh, yeah, Quick is... Quick, out. DJ Quick is definitely in, 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 in my top producers. For sure. Yeah, I, don't I know, know Primo, Primo and Riz is back, huh? Oh, yeah, that? Primo and Riz. When's that going? When's that going to happen? Tonight. I think it's tonight. Yeah. Yo, I tried to, um, I tried, I put on Twitter, I tried to set up uh, DJ Quick versus uh, Battle Cat. You know who that producer is, Battle Cat That's, from the West Coast? Absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Battle Cat is dope. Yeah, I tried Battle to set that up. Battle Cat got fire, bro. Yeah, man. I'm trying to. No, DJ. Yeah. You fuck with knots, man. Yeah, yeah. I, I, you know what, man? I'll be a hundred percent. Oh shit! It just gave me twenty eight seconds. Yo, will you come right back on, my man? Yeah. It just it, it gives me one hour, and I have to come back on and come off. I'll, I'll be right back on. Cool. Okay. All right, bro. You back? Yeah. Yo, I just want to say before we even continue, man. I know the fans will be like, man, they, they hit me up. Oh, man, you got to ask him about this, what happened, and this. Fuck that. I'd rather sit around and talk about Mortal Kombat, Daz, Dylan, <laughs> You know what I mean? I just That's like real, it. man. I'm, I'm loving this. I'm loving this, man. I appreciate that, bro. I don't, I, I'm not, I, don't give, I don't give a fuck about digging into this shit, like the controversy shit, and fuck all that, man. You know what I mean? But, yo, I just seen your dad. <laughs> He trolled yeah, he's uh, a wild one. <laughs> He trolled him. That was too funny. I was I thought he was serious at first too. <laughs> <laughs> what what uh, it's a uh, Affion, right? Or Affion? How, how do you pronounce it? Who who? You know, Affion Crockett. Is that how you Affion, pronounce his name? Affion, Affion, you took a yell, bro. My dad is yo, he's my pops is the ultimate jokester, bro. Like he'll he'll like when it comes to certain shit, like he always does shit, takes it to the like he used to do shit like when I was a kid, bro. <laughs> I used to not fuck with Freddy Krueger at all. At all. Now I love his movies, but when he when when I first got a glimpse of that of that dude, I used to not fuck with him at all. So my pops to make me face this fear, <laughs> he'd be like, yo, throw the garbage out and shit. You know what I'm saying? Go take the garbage out or whatever. I go take the garbage out. He fucking slammed the door. 
and put all <laughs> you slam the door and lock it and like have my my little brothers and sisters singing fucking one two face coming for you <laughs> bro <laughs> that's the shit <laughs> Well, he used to close the door and like make the fucking noise with the, with the like the when his glove is scratching the wall. <laughs> yo, I used to be like six, seven years old, traumatized. Like, yo, what is he? He's like, no, none of that scary shit. <laughs> Real man, bro. He walked into that studio or in, into Sway's shit. He had the glasses on. The, the he he had the <laughs> He had the whole costume. He, he had the, the, the gray Nike hoodie, I think it was. He had the, the fingerless gloves. I said, oh, it's going down. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this rocky shit. <laughs> he was fresh, out the, fresh off the job to the studio. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, he said, uh, he said, you know, where I'm from, we tie people up, pistol whip them, and make them do the Dougie. I said, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, my pops, no. up, man, he called me. He was like, "Yo, we gotta." Cause Afion did a um, uh, he pranked me and shit, and that shit was hilarious. I was on the road and I saw that shit. People was telling me like, "Yo, he did a, he pranked him like or whatever." He did one of the videos, and I fucked. Shout out to Afion Crack. He's fucking hilarious, bro. He did that shit, and I was crying like me. All of us, we were just everyone. The, the people when I watched the video, I was with a bunch of people. All my guys. We started fucking crying, laughing. So my pops was like, "Yo, bro, we gotta get him back." Cause my 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 father called me hysterical. Like, "Yo, did you see that shit?" Like he was laughing. He was like, "Yo, nah, it was it's cool, but we gotta get him back for that." He was like, "You know, I gotta get him back. I'm gonna set him up to get." And that it was just all in fun. But the fact that like he does shit like that, like my pops is fucking hilarious. Atheon was on was on live. Um, was on live recently with Big Daddy Kane and Big Daddy Kane. Listed me as his top three favorite battle rapper. That was mind blown. Amazing. Bro, that that's goat, man. That's legend. That's beyond. That's iconic. Big Daddy. I can die. What? I got. He has a lot of history in the house too. In my household, man. Oh yeah. Him, him and Rakim. What? No, not personal, but like him and Rakim. Oh. I had to. My dad. Between Kane and. Kane and Rakim, and uh, and all of the uh, all of the other types of music. Cause my my dad listened to everything. Prince and Michael, Kane and Rakim. That's who I grew up listening to in the house. Word, yeah, man. For real, like that was it. <laughs> my dad used to make me. My dad was a bass player. He was into the funky shit. That's why I like Ooh. West. Coast. Yeah, that's why I like West Coast. Fire. DJ Quick and shit. You know what I mean? But he used that's to like fire. make me watch. He used to make me watch Prince. You know what I mean? I, and so I and so I learned to appreciate Prince and uh, like Billy Ocean and shit like that. Like I really liked funky shit. Michael Jackson, of course. You know what I mean? James Brown, bro. James Brown, man. Can't that's teach that. Fire, the bass, that's fire, bro. That's soul right there. Oh yeah, he, he had an afro, everything. You know, he 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 was a whole nine yards, man. So <laughs> oh, that's real, bro. That's fire. Word. Dope. Yo, listen. Here's here's one question. I, you don't have because I know you're tight with him, and, I, and I'm not asking for you to talk shit or whatever. But um, the Cassidy shit have because I, I don't like to bring it up because I don't like to put people or whatever. But uh, you think he's doing his thing or whatever? You know, he can come back stronger. What do you think? What what what, what you mean? Well, you know, his last couple battles. You think you think he he came pretty pretty correct for you know did um, his thing. To be honest. We come from, like, he comes from that, man. So, I like, the way it is right now is, is like, it's different, bro. Like, we, we, we're we used to, like, when you, when you, when you, I can't even fucking describe it. The way he sees it and, like, the way we would see it is, like, this is, like, we come from the mixed up shit or whatever. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, like, I have, he's battled way more people than I have probably, you know what I'm saying? And. He's been through the hearing and going through the opposing people opposing him and hearing all kinds of shit. So it's that that side of it is probably not affecting him like that. You know what I'm saying? Because we niggas didn't heard everything you could say to them going to different. I've battled dudes on their own block 
And even when I know I won, it's like I'm on their block. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel personally <clears throat> like he he has his outlook on shit. And I, I as far as him and, 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 and the approach and going into the way his approach is, I think that's what's fucking, fucking it up. I think people don't even want to hear or give him the respect just because of the way his approach is being taken and and that's that's how he is and how and, and the way he always looked at himself. So not to be yeah. political, but I think it's more his fucking like like his approach about it that that's really giving people a little they looking at him without even wanting to hear what he has to say. You know what I'm saying? Like to an to an extent. I've been like the battles that I've seen, he's been saying to me. He he's been saying some shit. Like, he says yeah. some shit. As far as like him keeping up, keeping going, I can't judge it yet because there's only been a couple of um a couple of battles and y'all play different, bro. So it's too early. <laughs> it's too early to judge. Y'all play different, man. Like y'all do y'all do shit very different now. So it's not it's not nothing that I could really judge off top, but but to but to hit. But to, I don't know, like you, you. I don't know if you get what I'm trying to say without fucking. Hundred percent, and and, and you're, <laughs> you're a hundred percent right. What it is is his approach makes people uneasy already. So if you're not doing the best thing in the world, they they're they're already like this watching you because of like all the shit you've been talking. So like, you know what I mean? I think uh, and Cassidy like is a legend, you know, and I got so it much was respect. Nice man, where I fuck with Cass, bro. Oh yeah, I th I think um it, like if you were to ask yeah, we've me, done, we've done we've done we've done and shit. He's fire, man. He's fire. Say? Sorry. I, I um I think the only downfall would be this. So he comes from an era where usually when you battle, you're just spitting free verses back and forth. You know what I mean? So like they're not totally directed at that person, but they're still fire. But you know, you go, you come from an era where you can rap back and forth for five hours straight, just random verses. They're, they're battle verses, but not like customly designed for this person. So I think like his first rounds are always really, really good in, 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 in his battles. But like by the second and third, people are, he's spitting kind of like, they're not as direct as, as, as they need to be in this culture, and I think that that's why it kind of loses steam. He's spitting battle rhymes, but not, like, breaking his opponent down as much, maybe. But that, that comes with practice, comes with time, and, you know, I'm, I'm just glad that he's taking part in the culture, you know. Yeah. What you said just now is exactly what I was trying to say, too. That's exactly mm -hmm. what I was saying. But y'all, and that goes with me saying that, y'all, yo, bro, you guys play different, bro, right now, like, you can't just go, you can't just approach the shit with the, you have to like really sit and pay attention and do your homework on shit. Like it's things that I've seen that I've been seeing the last few years in the culture and in and, 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 and the battle rap culture, bro. But I'm just like, yo, I would have never, I'm, I'm like, yo, that shit is fucking crazy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and it's rare to get that shit from people like if, like us, you know what I'm saying? Like that, that, that listen and feel music and shit like that. So when it's like this shit is being has been elevated, it's not like like how you were just saying where you could go, oh I could rap this or he could rap that and do this, do that, do that. Like this shit is different. Like you can't, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta be prepared, man, on all levels for anything. Yeah, you don't, you don't want to, you don't want to. You know, end up like in a cannabis situation. You know what I mean? Like that was. That's how I was like, oh. <laughs> Yo, I'll, 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 I'll switch. I'll switch the topic. <laughs> that's fucked up, bro. <laughs> that's fucked up. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna switch the topic. I'm gonna go back to uh to uh, to our regular talks. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, favorite WWF wrestler of all time? Shit, I was just having this debate too with someone the other day. Damn it! <laughs> Consistency. What do we mean? Like of all time? 
All time. <laughs> Damn, bro. And for me, with the Undertaker, bro. Oh, yeah. You know who I'm going? You know who I'm going with? Taking the ropes, Ultimate Warrior. Yo, that was, yo, and that's crazy, bro. It was him. <laughs> it's him and, and Undertaker. That's my two. Stone Cold and stuff for me, like Stone Cold, The Rock, of course. They were like later. But, like, when I first started watching wrestling, I remember Hulk Hogan versus Sergeant Slaughter. Yes. I, was, I remember that match. Like, I was little watching that fight. Like, I remember that. So, Lex Luger, Sid Vicious. These is my dudes. Of course, Ric Flair, the nature boy. Woo! These are my, these are my guys. Ted DiBiase. Um... Who else was my dudes? Um, Mick Foley, of course. I like Sting too, bro. But I like Undertaker Dash. more. Undertaker because when, huh? You, 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 you cut out. You cut out. No, it's all good. It's all good. Yeah, you know what? You know what, man? Undertaker and and, and uh. And Ultimate Warrior are neck and neck for me too, man. Dude, the lights go. You cut the lights out in the arena, and then the lights cut on, and he's just in the ring. I used to be like, I used to be hyped when I saw that shit. Like, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> he just pulled up out of nowhere, like. Yo, what's the what's the illest the illest wrestling move? Like you know, like the finisher. What's the illest move? That's a hard one, man. Yeah, it is. You know what? You know what looked painful? The power bomb. The power bomb by fucking Diesel. That, that was Diesel's move, right, Diesel? The power bomb. Ooh. The tombstone, bro. Undertaker shit. Oh, yeah, tombstone. <laughs> that shit. That, that shit have hurt your neck. <laughs> the pedigree. Triple H shit. The pedigree. <laughs> Oh, the sweet chin music. Yeah. How can we forget Shawn Michaels? Shawn yeah. Michaels. Yeah, sweet chin music. Shawn Michaels, bro. I forgot, man. Somebody say He's what? <clears throat> Ray Mysterio. He's a legend, but he I don't He's a legend. With all due respect, but legend, but there's levels, right? He was watching the Undertaker too. The cross Jim Duggan. Hacksaw Jim Duggan oh, ain't no joke. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah, he was in the he was in the joke. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your favorite tag team? Your favorite tag team. I'm gonna go with, and I know this is this is no one's gonna agree. Man, I like earthquake and typhoon, man. The natural disasters. For real? I mean, they weren't the best, but I don't know. They just they look like they're about to go in there and catch wreck, man. What about you? Oh, yeah. The Hardy Boys. Woo! It's the Hardy Boys or the Dudley Boys. Hey. The Hardy Boys or the Dudley Boys. The Dudley Boys is pulling up with the with the tables. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. The, the Dudley Boys is getting the tables. Yup. Yo, uh, it, there, there was a certain type of humiliation. There's a certain type of humiliation when gold does beat the out. You hear me? What'd you say, bro? You hear me? Yeah, now I, I said, um, I said, I said, there, there's, there was always a certain humiliation when, when gold dust beat somebody up. 
You know what I mean? When gold dust fucks you up, that's humiliating. <laughs> yeah, you can't come back from that. Yeah. <laughs> when NWO or Degeneration? That's a tough one. I want to make sure you. I want to make sure you're in. Okay, there you go. NWO or Degeneration X? Oh, I don't know, man. I might have to go with NWO just just because the theme song, the Wolf Pack, that theme song. Wolf Pack is back with a mass destruction. Oh man. No, man, this is a good conversation. <laughs> yo, yo. Damn. Yeah, the service is choppy. The service is choppy, man. Yeah. Well, listen, man, I I, I won't keep you. I don't want to. No, there you are. Nope. There you are. Oh, uh, no. Hey, the cross race chicken wing ain't no joke. It's the that shit is the worst. That man. shit is the worst too, bro. That shit is the worst, man. Hey, remember the um you remember the um, them them boy the bushwhackers when they put their armpits in your face? Bro! That was disrespectful. <laughs> You know who? My, my, one of my favorite wrestlers of all time, too, is Razor Ramon, bro. Oh, yeah. With the pick? Pico. You still go. <laughs> come on, Chico. He used to just get people mad when he comes out. He's just disrespectful. Listen. Oh, yeah. No, he, he, he was smooth. I think he, I, I kind of think he was smoother than Shawn Michaels. I'm trying to get one. I want to get one more answer out of you about WWF. If you can hear me, what's the best WWF song of all time? The entrance music. What's the what? The the best WWF theme song entrance music of all time. For me, I think it's Stone Cold, bro. Okay. It's just lit. As soon as you hear it, it's lit. It's just lit. <laughs> I like the uh, Stone Cold. <laughs> Beyonce, the, the million dollar. That's hard, man. That was fun. Oh man. The Wolfpack theme song was hard too, though. I could rap to that. That's yeah. Wolfpack was fire. <laughs> Pain, bro. Ooh. Yeah. I used to be like, oh, man. Bone chilling. Bone chilling. Word. Yo. Oh, man, I won't keep you, man. <laughs> Because it's cutting out a lot, man. Listen, Corey, I super, super appreciate your time, man. This is the conversation I wanted to have, man. This is this is what's up, man. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, I appreciate you, brother. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Much love, man. Have a great day, man. Much too, bro. Bless. Shout out to everybody. Oh shit, I cut him off. I just didn't. I didn't want to. He said, "Shout out to everybody, man. Much love."